When running a YouTube channel with your phone, you need two apps – YouTube and YouTube Studio. And nowadays, YouTube constantly updating the YouTube Studio app, so it has almost everything you need to run a YouTube channel. Detailed analytics, dashboards, the possibility to add, edit, optimize new videos, create and delete playlists, and so much more. And seeing how much attention YouTube pays to developing YouTube Studio app, I think soon it will be identical to the desktop version. So today I'm gonna guide you through the YouTube and YouTube Studio app and show you everything you need to run your YouTube channel with your phone. So please hit like and subscribe buttons, this helps me to understand which content you like and also helps me to grow my channel, so please. And now let's go straight to the video. So here is my phone and let me show how you can run your channel with it. So you need to download two apps, the YouTube app, I'm sure you have it already, and the YouTube Studio app. If you don't have it yet, you can download it from the Google Play Store or Apple Store, or you can just open your YouTube app and then click on your channel icon in the top right corner, scroll down and hit YouTube Studio. YouTube will open the app in your store and you can download it. Once you're done, open the YouTube Studio, click Sign In, and if you already signed in to the YouTube app on your phone, YouTube Studio is gonna suggest you sign in on the same account. If you want to use another account, click Add Account, I'm gonna choose this one. And here is the channel dashboard. Similar to the desktop dashboard, here you'll find channel analytics, latest published content, and its performance, and latest comments. Did you know that you can change channel name, description, profile picture and banner in the YouTube Studio app? Yes, you can and let me show you how. So, once you are in the YouTube Studio app, click on your profile picture in the top right corner, then select Edit Channel Profile. To change something, tap on this element. For example, I'd like to change my description a bit. I click on it. I want to add another bullet point, so let's write where to get motivation to make videos. Okay, I'm done. So next click save. Perfect. And if you want to change a profile picture or an image, click on the element. And here you have two options. The first one, take a photo or upload a photo from your camera roll. Unfortunately, you can't add a custom URL or custom ad featured section in the app. But I think soon YouTube will add these features in the app also. Okay, the next question, and it might be the most important question, is how to upload videos on YouTube. So here open the YouTube app, not YouTube Studio. And here click the plus icon at the bottom of the screen. Depending on how big your channel is, you will see different amount of options here, but all we need now is to upload a video. And all of you can do this, so click upload a video. Now choose a video, click next. Here you can write a title, description, and add your video to a playlist. You can also change a thumbnail of the video. You can do this now or later here in this app or in the YouTube Studio app. And then set visibility. Never publish video right away, because YouTube needs some time to process the video, so it's not available in the highest quality right away. It usually takes from like 5 to 30 minutes, maybe one hour to process a long video. So I always go with private or unlisted to schedule and then click upload. As you probably noticed, you can, for example, add text in the YouTube app. You need to go to YouTube Studio to do this. Hi, Ina from the future is here. You actually don't need a YouTube Studio app to add text to your video. You can do this right from the YouTube app. So here we are in the YouTube app, then click library, your videos. And now click three dots next to the video that you want to edit. For example, this one, and then click edit. And here you see your text. So you can add text right here and also add video to a playlist or delete video from the playlist. But if you need some advanced settings, you go to YouTube Studio app. So let's go to YouTube Studio. All videos, including the published ones, can be found in the content tab at the bottom of the screen. So here is the long video that I've just uploaded. By the way, YouTube divides videos into long ones and shorts. And if you want to see a short, step on shorts. Now we need a long video, so go back to 
videos and let me show how to edit them. Click on the video and then click on the edit icon that looks like a pen or pencil. So on this page you can add a title, description, set visibility or add to a playlist, so everything is almost the same here. But here you can see also these more options and you can click here. So I want to add some text. So I click on text and I'm going to write a few text. Yes, I think this would be enough. Go back to the edit page, click save. And once you're done optimizing, don't forget to change your thumbnail. So click on this pencil icon and change. Now choose the thumbnail you want and click save. And now you can schedule your video or set it as unlisted or private. So hit visibility, select for me schedule, adjust the time, save. And the same way you can edit any video you have already published. And you also can sort them, so let me show you. So here we are in the content tab and I can sort by most recent and most views, visibility, public, private and listed has scheduled or draft and views more than a certain number or less than a certain number. So for example, I want to change titles, thumbnails and maybe add some keywords to the videos that aren't performing great. So for example, for me it be it will be less than 100 views. Apply. And I want to sort them by most viewed. So here my videos are sorted by most viewed and all of them have less than 100 views. And I want to change, for example, this video and change a thumbnail. So I click on this video, then this pencil icon, again, pencil icon, change, choose the a thumbnail that I want to change it to, and done. Here we are, we change the thumbnail on the video. And this way you can edit any video you have on your YouTube. The next on the list are playlists. And YouTube updated this section just a couple of months ago, before you wasn't be able to edit, delete playlists on your YouTube Studio app, now you can. And let me show you how. To edit playlists, go to your content tab, then playlists at the top of the screen, and here you can see all your playlists. If you want to edit it, click on it, for example, on this one. And here you see all the videos that are in this playlist, you can click on this video and YouTube will open it. And if you want to delete it from this playlist, for example, you click this pencil icon. Here you see playlist. And if you uncheck this, the video will be deleted from this playlist. If you check this, the video will be added to this playlist. Then click done. This is the one way you can add or delete videos from the playlist. The other way is just to go from your content tab to any video and do the same. Again, pencil icon and playlist. And what else you can do here is to go back to playlist, click on the playlist, click this pencil icon and here add description to the playlist. It's always good to add description to a playlist. So for example, and then you can set visibility, public, unlisted or private. And also the way you want to order videos in your playlist is either manual or date edited and used, date edited the oldest, most popular, date published, newest or date published, oldest. And you can also delete the playlist here. Click save. But keep in mind that for now you can change the order of the videos in the playlist manually on the YouTube Studio app. You can do this only on your desktop version of the YouTube Studio. And that's it for the YouTube playlists. Now let's talk about analytics. The analytics in the app is a bit less detailed than the desktop version, but still there is a ton of useful information here. So open your analytics at the bottom menu and here you see three tabs, overview, content and audience. Let's go to the overview tab. Here we see views, how many views your channel got in the last 28 days, watch time and subscribers. You also see your content. You can actually click here and see not only your top five best performing videos, but much more. And you can change the duration, the period of time here, last seven days, 90 days, uh, lifetime. And you can choose custom, by the way, here, only what you see here on your screen. So 
I want to stick with 28 days and here I can actually open the analytics of one of the videos so for example this one and I can see video analytics here which is really really convenient let's go back here I can also see the real-time uh, analytics which I really like again I can click here to see more videos and I can also set the time period last 60 minutes let's go back here this is everything let's go to the content tab here I can watch analytics for all my videos long videos or shorts let's go to all I can hear how many views my videos got and if I want to change the time frame I click and here I can change the time frame I want to log. Let's go back, publish content, how many videos I published during this period of time, and how viewers find my channel. Again, if I click, I see more sources where viewers found my channel. And again, I can change the time frame. Let's go back. There is no data to show my top remixed videos because my channel is too small for this. And I can do the same for long videos. I can see also the number of impressions, impression click through rate, average view duration, again, top videos, how viewers find my channel. Content suggesting you, I really like this one because it shows to which videos my video is shown. So when you watch a video and you see suggested videos on the right hand side, there is my video among them. And you can see what are those videos and take a couple of ideas for your channel because your viewers are interested in this type of content and again you can change the time frame here let's go back next is youtube search terms again you can find some video ideas here external sites or apps and playlist featuring you next is key moments for audience retention you can see what interests are performing the best on your channel where are the spikes, where are the dips, and what are top moments. I don't have them in this channel. Now let's go to the last step, audience. Here you can see how many returning viewers you have, and the higher this number, the better. Next is unique viewers, again, the higher the number, the better. And how many subscribers you gained in the last 28 days. You can click here to change the time frame if you want so. But again, you can set a custom time frame here. You can do this in your desktop version of the YouTube studio. Here you can also see when your viewers are on YouTube, what are their average age, gender, top geographics, do they use subtitles, so closed captions when they watch your videos, and watch time from subscribers, so how much time did you get from people who are not subscribed to your channel versus who are subscribed to your channel. So here is the general analytics of your YouTube channel. If you want to see analytics of a certain video, go to your content tab, choose any video you'd like, for example this one, scroll a bit down, go to video analytics. And see, you can see analytics of this particular video. How many subscribers this video got you? What is the watch time of this video? How many views this video got? What is the audience retention? What are the key moments for audience retention? Itro. Here I don't have any top moment spikes, but I have some dips. Here you can see the real time views. The reach tab shows you the number of impressions, the impression click through rate how many views and unique viewers there is no data here again because this channel is too small but we can actually check whether we have this data on the desktop version so here i opened analytics of this video but on the desktop version of youtube studio let's check audience return viewers unique viewers again no data this means that the same data i have in my desktop version i have in my mobile app how viewers find this video, external sites or apps, YouTube search terms, content suggesting this video. Again, uh, look for ideas in this data and playlist featuring this video. Engagement, watch time, average view duration, and audience retention. We already seen this in the overview tab. And audience, returning viewers, unique viewers, subscribers. 
age, gender, top geographic, top subtitles, close caption languages, and watch time from subscribers. So here you can find a lot of useful data that can help you to grow your channel. If you don't know how to use analytics to your advantage, please check out this video right here. And thank you for watching this video up to the very end. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!